an absent-minded girl walks alone and stops. In front of her stands a 34-foot barrier, something she faces every day, always wanting to escape. She runs in circles and in circles, but ends up in the same place. She climbs and she climbs, but there's no way out. She goes back day after day, and it's all the same. So she takes a step back and lets the atmosphere carry on. She asks herself, what am I doing wrong? So she isolates herself near a riverbank where the currents are steady and while fond, something that she will never be unless she admits all the flaws to her arrogant self. And that arrogant girl is me. There will be no bridges, gaps, or paths that will guide me into the right direction. There will be no... There will be no bridges, gaps, or paths that will guide me into the right direction. There is no sugarcoating in reality. There is no getting away with just pure luck. There is no one to catch you when you fall. No one to fully take all the pain away. No, I have to become those bridges, gaps, and paths. I have to become my own reality, luck, pain, and hero in order to save myself. I beg for mercy. I'm sorry I'm eyeless. I'm sorry I'm oblivious. I'm sorry I'm a chaotic mess. I'm sorry I'm a wretched soul. I'm sorry I'm clear as black. I'm sorry I'm not in control of thy tongue. I'm sorry I'm the purpose for making you want to leave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I go back the next day, standing tall in front of that 34-foot barrier, standing tall even for my short self. And with all my might, I let out one last cry, but that last cry was so powerful that that barrier started to collapse. Down and down it went. And as that last sinful tear falls is when I start a new chapter in my life. Now I have become that carefree woman I had always wanted to be. (laughs) 